So what will we hear today about those cuts? Well, probably not too much. The Chancellor has said that the budget will not include a detailed spending review of Whitehall departments. But it is expected that budgets for the NHS, for schools and policing will all be protected. The Chancellor might try to woo voters by deferring the three pence increase in fuel duty. That's due to come in next week. And there's also likely to be details of a proposed green investment bank that would fund renewable energy schemes. But drinkers could have less cause to celebrate. They could be hit with higher than inflation increases of 5% on alcohol duty. The Chancellor has said a VAT increase is not on the table, but even if there's no new tax rises unveiled today, many of us will be hit by measures already announced, such as the new 50 pence tax rate for those owes earning over £150,000, and also the planned increase in national insurance contributions next year. So there's likely to be very little reason for cheer today as the government prepares to tighten its belt and raise the cash needed to shrink that deficit. Right, let's get a rundown of what else is happening and Charlotte has uh, put all of that together. What have you got? Yes, Amy, you were talking about those strikers that Alistair Darling is going to have to make his way through. And for the first time ever, hundreds of thousands of civil servants are on strike on Budget Day. More than two... Good, OK, you can be part of all that. So, Charlotte, you go off and think of questions <laughs> uh, for Adam Bolton to put to these people. I will indeed. He'll not be able to think of his own. Uh, on the front pages of the morning... Hello there, thanks for your company. Sky News Sunrise on a Wednesday morning. This is Louisa Fletcher and as you see she's going through her newspapers for your delectation very, very shortly. <laughs> it's, uh, should smoking be banned in cars? Louisa Fletcher will give you her view after Charlotte with a rundown of what else is happening. And it seems likely the Chancellor to deliver that budget will have to make his way through striking workers. And that's for the first time ever. Hundreds of thousands of civil servants are on strike on budget day. Well, OK, have a go at that. The email address is... It's news at sky.com if you'd like to uh, send us any thoughts mm -hmm. on that. Or you can go to our website as well. OK. Uh, here's Louisa Fletcher. Louisa's going through the newspapers with us this Good morning. morning. Good to see you, Louisa. We want to start with this um, call by, by 20 of the country's leading wonder. Why not worry about adults because, trapped in cars? Because, well, it's, that's the bit I'm going to come on to in a minute. But It was open. Well, this is... Now, from, from a practical perspective, we've been told now... ...of mine got caught the other day driving with her mobile phone... £3.60 fine. I defy you to scratch. Am I going to be sent to prison, prison for, for that? that? No. Where does it stop? Yes. But, you know... Already, actually, on the emails and texts of this, a lot of people are questioning how it can be enforced. And other people are saying, look, we haven't got children, so why shouldn't we be able to smoke in our own cars? Yeah. But mm. then to that, I would say, well, we've managed to get... We've managed to... Or we are starting to eradicate using mobile phones, and surely one is as bad as the other. I mean, another case recently, a lady got um, £3.60 fine for applying lipstick mm. in a car. So, you know... So it can be done. Uh, legal. But it is physically true that basically, because it's more important for a man to mate when he's not. I agree with that. I think that's, that's <laughs> sensible really? enough. Yeah, it's really. all part of that. Yeah, it's then, isn't yeah. it? Coughing and But it's all part everywhere. of that live fast, die, die young, young sort of, you know, yeah, thing that's in, in ingrained in us. Now, look <laughs> at this. Here's a dog called Ruby. Ruby's a lurcher as opposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not even sure doing it was my <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> quite truthful. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I have to say, she was insured. and her If it was a choice between getting Bailey patched up with £11,500 or that new kitchen that you want, what would it be? It would be Bailey, of course. The kitchen okay. can wait. But luckily, we've got pet insurance as yes. well. So. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Louisa. Back in an hour. We, we were all having a laugh there. That was only the, the, the preview, Phil. <laughs> yes. well, as I said, I used to want to be Jewish because I thought it was quite a funny, dramatic, funny, you know. Yeah. Well, there you are. An interesting that religion. would be you, dramatic. What have you got? Any dramatic sports news? Asking a lot of you what you want to see in the budget this year. A new briefcase for Alistair. Let's get a rundown of what else is happening here with those details at Charlotte. And the Chancellor might have to make his way through striking workers. As for the first time ever, hundreds of thousands of civil servants are on strike on budget. OK, that's what you've got to do and you know how to do it. On the front page of the papers. Thank you for that, Charlotte. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, right. Anything to say, Sean? Anything to add to that? Uh, no, no, I think that was all covered quite well, actually. See Interesting this? about the key fob with the mock pound coin. Yes, you see, the idea. difference yeah. between a man and a woman is a woman would walk the whole length of the car park 
to go back yeah. and reclaim that pound yeah, you would. where I'd just get into the Well, a pound to you, though, you'd be like, nothing. Well, why would you bother? Think of the <laughs> shoe that goes to those uh, parking meters, and she'll put in, like, 20p. <laughs> That's men and women. Uh, right, <laughs> also, we're going to be talking about you. You've been tweeting in about smoking in cars. Uh, Charlotte will be reflecting that in the next half hour in the programme, reflecting the weather picture. Let's get the big picture now. Lucy Verasami with that. Sunrise on a Wednesday morning. It's budget day today. Uh, a lot of you getting all fired up over that. And also, Charlotte, it's uh, smoking in cars as well. Huge discussion on smoking in cars, whether people think it should be banned or shouldn't be banned. Yeah, there's uh, 20 of the country's top doctors that uh, want it banned. You've been having your say. Louisa Fletcher's leading with that in her newspaper review in five minutes' time. But we begin with the budget. Today is the Shadow Secretary of State for Work and Pensions. Now let's get a rundown of what else is happening there. We're going to have the papers for you after this from Charlotte. And the Chancellor will have to cross a picket line when he leaves the Treasury today to deliver his budget. For the first time ever, hundreds of thousands of... He should have been a bit quicker, shouldn't he? Oh. He's a police driver. I've seen worse. Investigation now to find out exactly what happens. So perhaps we'll get the information he, when that comes through. Yes, he may. One of them we're talking about shortly. <laughs> Now, Oprah Winfrey settled a lawsuit filed against her by the former headmistress of a school she opened in South Africa. Up in cars? I don't. I know people that I do. I do. Do you? Yeah, traffic lights. Yeah, yeah traffic well, lights. Be careful what you admit to. <laughs> but, yeah. When you're caught. But the point is this, you know, it's well-known well knowledge now. You know, if you get caught, mobile phone, three seat and light it up. So do you ever get a personal itch in a car that you want to scratch <laughs> and take your hand off the wheel? I don't wish to discuss would, my personal itch. Would, would you feel this morning, Charlotte, what have you yeah. had? I mean, the only objection is a lot of people are saying, yes, basically, you shouldn't smoke in a confined space uh, like that, a car. People are disagreeing with that. But a lot of people are not liking the nanny state being told what to do. No, they're not at all. And some people are saying, look, they haven't got children, so why shouldn't they be able to smoke in their own cars? Um, some people are saying you can't compare it to smoking uh, to using a mobile phone. Robin Norfolk says mobiles are distracting. You can't possibly concentrate while you're driving, but you can and do have complete control when you're smoking. Uh, someone else says, though, if you have children and you smoke in your car, then you're just as likely to smoke at home as well. Mm. So then that should be banned. Uh, Diana yeah. Bailey says um, also, how many drivers have dropped a lit cigarette between their thighs whilst driving oh and then had to retrieve it? Oh I, don't know. I have no idea, but yeah. that's dear, dear, dear. But I'd love to see the video if you have it. Um, <laughs> now, talking about pictures, we're going to the airport now and um, these scan After Christmas we had the rushed um, introduction of scanners at Heathrow L worker at Heathrow went into one of the body scanners and a male co-worker took a picture of her. He came into it. Do you think I would look? Yes. Okay. You'd be like, yes, oh, you hold would. on. Yeah, just turn around a second. Oh, I need to get another. Yeah, I need to. Yeah. And I can't quite see properly. But uh, all jokes aside, I think that, you know, at what point does that then cause certain images right. to be Where captured? does it all stop, though? Where does it all where stop? Where does it all stop? Depends where they stop secreting explosives, doesn't it? That's that's the thing. Okay, your views can do. If you had the eleven and a half thousand pounds, and maybe these people don't have it, yeah. would you would you pay it for, for my your dog? For your little dog? Yeah, she she did a cruciate ligament mm. on the common once, and that was four grand, three operations. But Gosh. I had pet insurance. And I was going to say yes. You'd do it chartered as well. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, I think yeah. most pet owners would really, if they could do, or they'd mm. get the money from somehow, or hopefully have insurance. Well, there we go. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for that, Louisa. Some of the stories uh, making the papers um, this morning. Top story.